Shh. Yourself, Joey. We are finally having a good time. Oh. What is your problem now? It's beat night. So? So. There's a baby sleeping upstairs, and Kathy, and Andrew. I don't think anybody's home. Would you please come in? Shh, no, don't shh. Hello? Don't shh. Hello? Tell you. See, there are no lights on inside. There's no car outside, and there's no babysitter. So it's just like I said when we pulled up. We've got the whole house to ourselves. It's so late, though. Uh, what is wrong with you, Joey? It is midnight, and that's not even late. Oh, you're turning to a pumpkin no, or something? It's, it's just weird. I mean, Andrew has that, that program for feeding the homeless first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, uh, is that tomorrow? You know what that means. He hops into the shower at 5 a.m. He wakes up everybody in the house, including the baby, who starts screaming, Daddy! You know, why am I cursed with this life? Enough, enough of the drama. No, I'm serious. <sighs> I, I, it's a little weird. Where would Cassie and Andrew go at this hour of the night and take the baby with them? That doesn't make any sense. Saying it's a little weird, that's all. What, that Cassie and Andrew aren't home? Well, it's, I mean, that they leave at this hour and take their baby with them, it's after midnight. Well, obviously you don't know Aunt River. He can sleep anywhere. You know what I think? I think Cassie and Andrew are out sinning with some hot, young Landview couple watching old Leave it to Beaver reruns, sharing popcorn with real butter. You're so bad to them. I, yeah. You want something to drink? No, no, thank you. I, I think I'm going to start, I'm going to head home. Well, I am dying of thirst, especially after all that dancing. Well, you did give, pretty much give it everything you got. I'll give you that. One of my many talents. But I still don't believe that you um, climbed out of your bedroom window from your boarding school, ran off and became a principal dancer with the Moulin Rouge. And who told you that? Well, Jessica told me that you told her. Well, how do you know it's not true, Joey? Maybe you just don't know my stage name. <laughs> after all... If you knew everything about me, then you'd just be too dazzled. Yeah, I, I, you're, you're probably right. And I'll tell you what, I'm so dazzled right now, I'm going to go home and go to sleep. No, don't go yet. Come on, please. Come on, I don't want to dance alone. You choose the CD. I'm all danced out. I can't believe you're not either. Just a little while longer. Come on, we don't have to dance. I just don't like being alone. Well, I didn't know that about him. I told you. There's a lot you don't know about me. But we did get through the whole night without fighting, and let's take advantage and get to know one another. And how would you like to do that? Give me a minute. The gods threw us together on the dance floor, so that means that they have to give us a sign... Brilliant. Truth or dare. Great way. Yeah, it is a great way, but it's just too bad that we can't play. Why? Because you can't tell the truth. You don't know how. You are such a liar. <laughs> and I will never forgive you for saying that. Oh, yes. I am mortally wounded. Okay, all right. Completely all right. embarrassed. All right, all right, all right. Truth or dare? We'll play. Okay, truth or dare? I dare you. To do what? To tell the truth. The absolute truth. I double dog dare you to tell the truth. You think you can handle it? Okay, okay, no, no, go ahead. Ask me a question, any question, and I will give you an answer. And I will give you an honest answer. Okay. Were you a virgin before Dorian? Yes, I was. <laughs> All right, you didn't even blink. Mm -hmm. Okay, extra points. Okay, my turn. Truth or dare? Dare me, suck it to me. Okay, I dare you, Monday, noon, I want you to turn up to class dressed in the uniform they used to make you wear to the convent school. No way. Well, then I win. I can't, Joy, that's not fair. I burned those rags the first day they released me from that prison. Then you lose. I'm sorry, you know the rules. If you can't do the dare, and I don't care what the reason is, you lose. I could at least tell the absolute truth about something. Yeah, you could, if you could. Watch me. Absolute truth, every word. And I already know what you want to know. Huh. All the details. Oh. My last lover, Jacques, the French sailor. We met on the top of speech out of Saint-Tropez. Save it, save it. I don't want to hear about some fantasy romance you had with some lover that you picked up out of a fantasy novel. I want the truth. And I get to choose. Fine. 
The truth it is. What do you want to know? Give me your worst day. Everything that happened and why. Worst day you ever had. Truth or dare? Your worst day, Kelly. I was 11. <laughs> that long ago? You haven't had a worse one since? It was summertime, and we were out of school. And Ellen was over, a friend. And we were running around at, playing some game. And I knocked over a table. And she always said, don't play in the living room. My mom. This lamp on the table, it was beautiful. It was from France. It meant a lot to her. I, I don't know why. But at the base of the lamp, there was this little girl. It was porcelain. She was wearing a yellow dress. Anyhow, I knocked that lamp over. And I don't know where she came from. But she just started screaming. And I had never seen her lose it like that. God. She just yelled and screamed. And I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll fix it. What? She wouldn't stop. She kept grabbing those pieces. And squeeze them so tight, her hands would bleed. The neighbor came over, and the next day she was still crying when the ambulance came from the hospital. She went away. She never came back. I think for so long, I, I thought I was the one who made her crazy. No, you didn't. I mean, you were just a kid, and she was, you know, sick. Now I know. But I just kept seeing her, squeezing and grabbing those yellow. Hey. Sorry. I told you. Happened a long time ago. Your turn. Truth. No. Wait. Nothing but. Uh, let's talk Look, about. It. I mean. Would you go back to Aunt Dorian if you had a chance? Truth, Joy. The truth is. I hope I never have to make that decision. I believe you. Got gotcha, you, though. Little hard on the sleeve. Now, listen. Let's not dwell on the gloom and doom, young man. It is my turn, and I choose to take the dare. And make it good, not something totally dorky this time. Uh, it's your fault I'm in the truth-telling mood. Ouch. Now, make okay. it good. Okay. All right, don't waste my time. Okay. Joey Buchanan's real idea of a dare. Okay. Okay, I got it. Noon, tomorrow, I want you to show up at the country club, dressed for the beach. That's it? Just dressed for the beach? The beach, outside of St. Tropez. I want you to show up at the country club at noon, dressed the same way you were dressed when you met Pierre, at the topless beach. You don't think I'm going to do it, do ya? Well, we'll see, won't we? Yes, we will. You will. You certainly will. 